Which are the best websites to find translation jobs? Coming up. Hello and welcome back to the Freelanceverse. This is part two of the series on my channel to kick off the new year. Uh, I wanted to come out strong and uh, do a video on uh, online translation platforms where you can find jobs because that's a highly requested uh, topic on my channel, which I understand because most of you guys want to start out in this new career, right? And this is the best place to look for the first jobs and the first interaction with clients. So I compiled this ultimate list of, of platforms that I know that I've heard of. I haven't tried all of these out myself. In fact, most of them I don't know. So I don't vouch for any of these jobs. I don't know how much they pay. I don't know if it's good conditions, nothing. This is just to show you that there's stuff out there that you can try that you should try in the beginning. 20 I presented in the last Monday's video. So you can click here if you want to watch this first. You should watch this first actually and then come back to part two. I gave you the websites from A to P I think in the last episode and now I'm gonna start off what comes after P. I think it's gonna be R the next one. I hope you enjoy and let me know in the comments if there are a few new ones that you haven't heard of. I hope so. So let's cut to the screen. All right, the first one this week is indeed with the letter R. It's called Responsive Translation, responsivetranslations.com. Uh, it's a US company again, uh, similar to a few that we already had. Trouble free translation for compliance intensive industries. So this is more like, uh, yeah, mostly legal stuff, high stakes translations. Uh, so if you are healthcare and medical as well, so if, you're, if you are in this field, this could be very interesting to you. To sign up here, you go on the about section up here, you click on jobs. And then down here, freelance linguist translation jobs, uh, click here to submit the resume and a cover letter or send to blah, blah, blah. So you can also just send an email, but if you click here, I guess there will be a form. Yes, you can fill in this one. So that's the first one for today. Moving on. Next up is ref.com. Uh, ref.com often gets mentioned with, together with Appen. Uh, you can uh, do captions and subtitles here on ref.com. Uh, it's probably very badly paid because I see here like a yeah, dollar 25 per minute, three to seven dollars per minute. Okay, this one, yeah, you can do something with seven dollars per minute, but this is really just to get into it, right? You can try it out if you want, uh, just for, for, for the first few jobs, but uh, for proper subtitling jobs, this is not the page. But yeah, why not give it a try to get some experience? Next up is say hello, say hyphen hello.com, which is one that I used in the beginning as well. And I was very happy with them. And funnily enough, this is Lucas here. I've just noticed that so if you follow the channel, you know him. That's funny. He must have worked with them once. So if you want to sign up with them, you can click up here, register as a translator and you can register with an email address. And after that, you will have another form to fill in. Next up, semantics.com, beautiful website, really well done and uh, very friendly, very inviting. Uh, I've never, haven't worked with them, but I might actually check it out. I really like what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm already on the work as a translator career page, so that's why it says this here already and you can just apply now. And uh, application form is here. You then get linked to an XTRF website where you can click I'm a freelancer and you can f fill everything in. I will for sure do that right after this video. <laughs> Next up is SmartCat. That's one that I use regularly. This is not only a cat tool, an online cat tool that you can use for free. It also has a marketplace, which is really cool. So if you if you just sign up as a freelancer, you can use this as your first cat tool. You can get some experience in, in like how a cat tool works. And in there, I, I'm not logging in now, but in there you will see a marketplace where you also can connect with customers. Customers can post jobs on there and uh, that then can be done in, within, within SmartCAD itself. So it becomes a whole ecosystem, which is quite nice. I have a few clients on there that send me jobs regularly through this software. Very similarly to SmartLing, which is actually funny that they are right after each other in the alphabet, but it's exactly the same. It's a, it's a cat tool, an online web, web server based uh, cat tool that also has a marketplace so you can sign up and then uh, yeah, become a translator as well. I don't know if it has a link. I haven't checked that. Become a translator in the company. Yes, so you can and then you, you can uh, translate tomorrow, today. <laughs> nice slogan. Apply now, fill in all the forms and you're in. Next up is Steps, I guess, or Steppes. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Translate better and faster. This is becoming bigger and bigger. I see this all the time now in the in the language industry, this name. And as you can see, Deloitte, Facebook, VMware, Netflix. So they have a, a very nice client portfolio. I haven't worked with them, but um, 
yeah might might be might be cool why not to, to sign up again you scroll all the way down for linguists become a translator might also sign up here why not Chi join as a translator you can also watch the promotion video and then you can fill in and sign up your account become a superhuman translator very nice very nice copy and uh, a good marketing they have because i have seen them everywhere last year so good on them all right number 28 in total is taya.io that's an interesting one it's an ai assisted translation solution so i assume there's a lot of post editing going on on this site i uh, haven't tried it out but uh, it's it looks good and a nice nice uh, platform if you scroll all the way down and you go on careers we are hiring uh, there are as you can see freelance language specialist openings and then you can uh, intermediate language specialist experience so it's interesting what kind of the it's interesting the distinctions that they make and as you can see yeah it's mostly empty post editing which i'm not opposed to it in general so uh, there there is a lot of uh, content happening at the moment so there's a lot of work for everyone there uh, so yeah why not join if join the network of translators by filling out the form if you're interested and we are staying in the technology world with tetris.com is the next one that's an app localization website uh, you can sign up by going on translators up here on the right and then as you can see the process you have to take a test you get graded and then you can receive jobs so whenever you see something with a test like this on a platform i think it's a good sign because they want to select the best ones i'm not a big fan of tests when you work with agencies or with direct clients at least not long tests but I guess in these in these cases it makes sense. So yeah, why not? You can here join our team if you want to. Textmaster.com is the next one. I'm already here on Join Us Translator Writer. So here you can create an account, freelance translators and copywriters, put your talent to work. The last time I put this in a video, I got a few comments saying that they don't accept new uh, people, but I reached out to them and they said they do. It just depends on the language combination. So yeah, just give it a try. Maybe it works for you. Maybe they, said, they tell you that they don't need you at the moment, but it can never hurt to try. Next up is the Open Mic. That's a really interesting uh, website. The Open Mic Project is also a podcast that I listen to sometimes. Uh, Unleash the power of translation to promote your brand. Uh, Simon is actually uh, Simon and Dimitri. I both know them. Uh, Simon I know better, but Dimitri I've talked to as well. So they're really cool guys, and they built this together. So it's um, it's basically a directory with with a lot of translators on there, and people can find you in this directory. So why not sign up so you can register here you can say that you're a translator uh, build your portfolio build a profile that's attracting and uh, maybe you find a job maybe you're just part of the community anyways it's a good place to be for sure next up is tomatoes tomatoes.com a very prominent name in the industry uh, this is a platform where you can register to the pool and whenever they have a job in your language combination they uh, reach out to you they send you an automated email if you want to register you can go on about register as a translator and a lot of forms again and down here are some frequently asked questions it's actually interesting to read through this how it exactly works how you get paid how the the winning translator is selected etc so it's more like a, of a bidding website um, i also worked with them in the beginning not anymore though number 33 is one i don't have any experience with but it has the very catchy name translate.com a great domain <laughs> um, and it looks quite bare, like quite minimalistic and probably machine translation is used here with a lot of post editing. But you get to get your foot in the door and in the beginning you want to take everything on, I guess. So uh, it's again another resource to try out. You scroll all the way down, bottom right, become a translator and you can sign up, become a paid translator. Weird wording, of course we are paid, but yeah, it kind of gives you the feel of the website already, but you know. From translate.com we add 1D and we are at translated.com. Uh, we open up language to everyone. Very nice platform, professional translation services made easy. So as typical website as the other ones, you can click on translators, apply as a translator and off you go with another form. Next up in T is Translators Cafe. Uh, Translators Cafe is often mentioned together with Pros as the two main sites for translators. I don't mention it that often on my channel because I've, I think Pros is, is far superior to Translators Cafe. I have signed up in the beginning of course, but to be honest since then I have not been on it. Uh, 
but there are oh this is all in Dutch now but yeah it doesn't matter there are some uh, job postings on here that you can sc scan through once you have a profile it works similar to pros you know you, you set your settings and then the, the search the search uh, results are tailored to you uh, so definitely a good place to be on as well as a translator we're slowly coming towards the end of the line bridge in last week's video. This is the next big uh, player in the industry, Transperfect, a very famous name. Uh, you can go on careers, you can join our freelance family and uh, you get to the hub. They have a whole like ecosystem for freelancers. I was signed up with them, I still am, and I did some uh, jobs with them not, not so long ago actually. Uh, and it was fine, it was good. Like it's not not the most like personal relationship you have with the pms that i usually like but you know it, it's a good place to be in because they have so much work because they are so big so if you once are in this pool you will regularly get emails so definitely sign up here truelancer.com is a, a smaller website that works similar to free to uh, freelancer and to to fiverr so everyone can sign up here and offer their jobs uh, post projects find me here there's a directory uh, and since it's not very well known there might still be better prices on here i haven't used it myself but definitely check it out then next is ubiqus.com u-b-i-q-u-s weird name uh, it automatically redirects, redirects me to the french website i guess uh, because i'm in belgium here so it's all in french but that's okay uh, you, this is really a, a website for uh, translation for editing for interpreting etc you can sign up here the process starts like with many websites by scrolling down and then here postule apply so you can apply online uh, for france for france switzerland or belgium in this case but of course wherever you are it will just tell you uh, other countries. The second to last one this week is unbubble.com. I'm I'm already on the career page here. Uh, if you go and view job openings and you go to professional linguists, you see a lot of freelance. Uh, you see a lot of freelance jobs. And also, if you scroll all the way down, then there is uh, interest in joining our editor team, so you can become an editor and review for them as well. Uh, so definitely an interesting place to be as well. And number 40, the last one, it sucks a bit that I have to finish with uh, like a geek website like this one, but nevertheless, when we are at U, we can't skip Upwork. It is a, a major player in the game, so I have tried a video on uh, translating an Upwork for a week. You can check it out if you're interested. It was interesting like to, to try to figure out how it works, and also in the comments people wrote that, you know, they make like decent money on, on Upwork so it can work you just need patience and uh, you need to be a fan of this kind of chasing uh, clients projects all the time because you have to apply several times a day I'm not a big fan of that but to start out you should try it out for sure there you have it these were 40 translation platforms where you can find jobs on i hope this video is of any benefit to you guys out there i really think that this is important that this is out there and you you actually get the access to it because because it's not so easy to find all these platforms of course most of them you will have known already if you are already like invested and you want to make it in the in the industry uh, if you are still at the beginning, now you have the perfect like basis to go on, right? So if you take the time, maybe you can like reduce a bit the percentage of your of your full-time job that you have at the moment and then spend five, six hours a week just working on these platforms. And uh, yeah, I mean, it should give you a nice basis to then build your translation career off of. Most of these platforms you will slowly shift away from after you are established and you will have uh, better paying agency clients, better paying direct clients, more like personal connections with the, with the PMs as well. But to start off, it's it's great, right? It's, it's a low barrier entry into the industry. And uh, I haven't mentioned it in a while, but you can still translate my videos if you want to practice the craft, if you want to get better in subtitling as well. Just send me an email, the, the address is down below. Uh, tell me which video you would like to subtitle. And of course you can add it to your CV, to your LinkedIn, whatever. It helps you to promote yourself, right? Okay, and I see you next Monday with the next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.